For the first method, we're going to head over to search and type in run. Then we're going to type in services.msc and click on enter. Once we're on it, we're going to click on any service, then we're going to click on S, which brings us down, and then we're going to look for sysmain. If you do not have sysmain, you have to look for superfetch. I don't have it personally, I've only got sysmain, but you might have superfetch over here. But anyway, we're going to make sure that this is disabled. So we're going to right click on sysmain or superfetch, we're going to click on stop. Once we stop it, we're going to right click on it again, head over to properties, and then change the startup type from automatic to disabled, and then click on OK. If you're wondering what sysmain does and what all the other methods are going to be doing to the computer, just know everything is completely safe and I've left a comment down below explaining everything. Once you've done that, we're going to do the second method. Head over to search and type in run, then we're going to type in sysdm.cpl and click on enter. Once we're on it, we're going to head over to advanced, then we're going to head over to performance settings and we're going to adjust it for best performance and click on OK. For the next method, we're going to head over to search and type in task manager, click on it. Once we're on it, we're going to head over to Startup Apps and then we're going to disable all of the apps that we don't want to start when our computer starts up. So for example, I don't want Logitech G Hub to start up when my computer loads up. So I'm going to click on it and then click on Disable. Do that for all the apps that you don't want to start up when your computer turns on. For the next method, we're going to head over to Search and type in File Explorer. Click on it. Then we're going to head over to this PC. You want to make sure that for all of your drives, you have at least 25 gigabytes of space on it. Because if you have it, then it will be used as virtual memory, which will decrease your RAM and CPU usage. So make sure that you're not in the red zone. Make sure that it's either green or blue. Some way to remove some space is to head over to your downloads folder and then clear everything inside of it. Then we're going to head over to search and type in run. Then we're going to type in percent temp percent and click on OK. And then we're going to click on Control A and delete all of these files. If you get this, click on do this for all current items and click on skip. Once you do that, we're going to head over to search, type in run again. And then we're going to type in only temp. And then after you clear all the temp files, we're going to type in prefetch. So clear those three folders. It's full of temporary files. Once you clear those three folders, we're going to right click on our recycle bin, click on empty recycle bin and then click on yes. For the next method, we're going to head over to search and type in edit power plan. Once we're on it, we're going to click on power options. And then we're going to select high performance or all high performance if you have that. If you don't have that, we're going to head over to create a power plan. And then it might say it right here. But if you don't have any of these options, you could just stay on balanced. For the next method, we're going to head over to search and type in run. Then we're going to type in clean MGR and click on enter. And then we're going to clear all of our drives. It will clean up all of the temporary files. So first I'm going to start my C drive. I'm going to click on OK. Then I'm going to make sure that everything is selected and then click on clean up system files and then click on OK again for the same drive. Once that's been done, we're going to make sure that everything is highlighted again and then click on OK and then click on Delete Files. Once that's been done, you can repeat that method for all of your other drives. For the next method, we're going to head over to Search and type in Check for Updates. Click on it. Once you're on it, make sure that you do all of the updates that you may have on your computer. For the next method, head over to Search and type in Virus and Threat Protection. Click on it and then click on Scan Options and we're going to do a full scan and then click on scan now. When you complete that, you want to do a Microsoft Defender offline scan. Click on scan now. This is the last method if you're still seeing problems. Unfortunately, what you're going to have to do is just probably upgrade your computer. Your computer probably just needs more RAM or a better CPU added to it and that will fix the problem. I used to have a really bad computer. I tried everything, but the only thing that actually worked in the end was upgrading the computer. But there is one final thing that you could try before you upgrade your computer. We're going to head over to search and type in reset this PC. Once you're on it, just click on reset PC. Click on remove everything. Click on local reinstall, click on change settings, and then select yes on everything, click on confirm, and then click on next, and then follow all the options to reset your computer. Because you may have a virus that hasn't been removed by the Microsoft Defender scan, and this may solve your problem. But if not, then you probably have to upgrade. 